hello and welcome to the lecture so we are here in the page which is the demo application which we installed and let's start with the javascript which is the main thing in this course and we will just start with you know some definition what how oracle apex is rendered and you know it's like a basic website you would be seeing or a web application we can tell so that renders like a form of html if you press the f12 which i am using now this loads me the elements thing where you can see in the form of html loading with the html tag and body and the head everything so this defines the structure of the page right so and we do have some decorations there happening and some interactivity that has some functions when you click sign out and all these things are part of the html css and javascript so how you define this structure here this would be looking blue that is done through css and the structure from the html and when you click on the sign out there will be a definition of the click that is through javascript so all these things play a major major part of the uh, page web page in general so if you take an example here from what you can say that uh, like a name maybe i'm fan of the oswald the octopus so if you say that oswald as a name that is like a noun you know that's the noun and if you can define that as a html and if you say blue oswald you can say that the blue that defines the oswald which is like a css to that and if you say oswald is singing and that is like a action for that oswald so that singing is like you know javascript here so that's how it is defining a thing like a word sentence so noun verb and adjective that you can say as html javascript and css so that's how the things are here in this page so to understand more we need to learn from javascript also Uh, even though you know html we need to learn the javascript and that's very popular language now and if you know about javascript it's fine if you not if you are new uh, it's nothing you just have to learn some basic things if you are uh, know about the function writing a function in a program that's fine only that's enough with respect to javascript and other than that the dom manipulation which you will be using more on the jquery and css and even in javascript as well so these are all the things which we need for a uh, oracle apex side as well not the very advanced javascript which you see like definitely defining the oops classes and various things not needed just a uh, functional stuffs and for the dom manipulation so you just can start with uh, learning about the document object model so if you type this command in the console tab this console is part of the browser and this is written in javascript that you can use the use it to manipulate the dom of that page and it won't be saved it's just for the client and this is the chrome browser and it uses the v8 engine where it uses some uh, javascript compilation with a beautiful uh, design and that's uh, highly scalable as well that chrome's v8 engine is where the future frameworks like the node.js and and many frameworks are built so we'll just go with the document manipulation and if you click on the document you will get an something here so that list the same html which you have seen in the console so this is what the document object model which stands for dom so inside here you have various things to enter inside the dom where you can select a certain element and play with that so it happens like that so you can select an element through other functions like the document dot you know, if i click up arrow and get the thing so you can use document dot get elements by tag name maybe tag name is the body tag if you want only the body tag i can just get that okay i just missed the codes here and this lets me the body collection in the form of body collection what we have seen here this one the t page body every information is printed so these are some various functions so for a apex side we would be using 
to manipulate the um, you know page items and some region elements and even the buttons right so let's create one page item and let's understand how we are going to manipulate it here so i am just creating one page item let me enable my component show component view i'll be very comfortable with that so this component view if you just see that in this region i will create one page item for an example and this would be p1 demo we can understand it's under this breadcrumb so it will be rendered here or we will just create one maybe in the content body some save same demo and we will pull this up no down here so it will be part of this region and let it be the text field so we'll see this page item and we will add some value as well we can use this source as static value and we'll just add demo as well so saving it and i'm seeing changes will be seen here with this demo field and let's try to get this value using the dom so that's through javascript programming so document dot get element by id so why i'm using id so if you try to inspect this this will open the same f12 thing but it will redirect me to the branch because everything is a html you know it's it's like a square box rendered inside child elements are there so you can see that this is the input pointing out and this pointing out the id here so this is the id which we want so i'm copying this for getting the value so i'm just using a bracket and pasting that here and this would give me some maybe we can just see what is returning it's returning me the com complete line which we saw now so here if we want the value we have the value tag we can get that easily so it will give me the value property here and if i give i am returning this document that uh, get element by id dot value so this returning this thing so this is how you would be programming in javascript in this oracle apex the most you will be playing with the dom with this uh, thing and even if you want to set some new value you can set it so if you just see that document or get a value equal to if you didn't return if you didn't assign anything it will be returning if you're trying to assign it will be reflected in the dom so i'm just uh, adding apex here so just have a look at here it would be trying to change the same thing so now this has reflected in this dom as apex so if i now to try to get that again i'll be getting apex so whatever is that we are playing with the javascript and the html mostly so this is how mostly we will be using the in apex side for the javascript it's very easy to understand and mostly we'll try to use jquery as well to manipulate the dom because that's very easy and very lightweight to use and oracle apex has that so we can use that as well and there are some apex uh, javascript apis as well uh, i would recommend to use that because apex provides that out of the box so uh, even we'll go those things and what are the things that are provided by this apex side and lots of functionalities of this javascript we'll see that more in the next lecture